Well, with me here is Brexit campaigner and prominent Conservative MP Jacob Rees-Mogg. Good morning to you. Good morning. When the election was called, when the snap election was called, you said it's always a good idea to trust the British people and ask them for their say. Uh, what do you think they've said with this outcome? What do I think they've said? I think that the Conservatives obviously won. It's the highest share of the vote we've got since 1983. Uh, and Labour what do you went think up. they've said with the fact that there said? isn't a majority? Um, I think they have said nothing about Brexit because Brexit was not at the heart of the campaign. Oh, it's very interesting. That's exactly what Theresa May wanted. It's what she event. wanted, but it's not what she got. And it's really interesting. You get all the Remainers coming on now saying that um, the campaign was all about Brexit. They said nothing beforehand and they so didn't it, dare it, go to the electorate saying let's stop Brexit before the election and now they say the voters said something they didn't. Okay, you, they say, di you say it's not about Brexit, then what does it mean? I think we have to be honest about this, that it was a raspberry at the Conservative Manifesto, that that was the bit that got us into trouble. I don't think it was... Brexit was in the Conservative Manifesto. Yes, but that wasn't what was then the focus of the campaign, was it? The campaign uh, was about social care, and Jeremy Corbyn campaigned well. I mean, he didn't do as well as Michael Howard in 2005, but nonetheless, uh, Jeremy Corbyn did much better than expectations, and politics is very much about uh, expectations uh, and momentum. Perhaps... Uh, I mean, perhaps, sorry to interrupt it, perhaps it was the electorate saying to Mrs May, we don't particularly like you, we don't particularly like your domestic policies, we don't particularly like your policy on Brexit. I don't think that's right, because Mrs May got more votes than Tony Blair got in 1997. But more physical number of votes. seats that's than when you called the election. That's absolutely right. So I'm not trying to pretend that the election was an enormous triumph. I'm just trying to contextualise it, that it wasn't as bad as some people have written up, that Mrs May got a pretty good mandate, but not as complete a mandate as I and other Tories would have liked to have seen. Last year you said Boris Johnson would quote, make a great Prime Minister and leader of the Conservative Party. He has the sense to be a unifier and the charisma to be an effective representative of the nation on the world stage. Do you still believe that? I think Boris Johnson is a great man, one of the really big figures of British politics. But Mrs May is the Prime Minister. There is no vacancy. Boris has said he doesn't want to become leader now. Do you believe and that? Yes, I do, because we need Mrs May to remain. We need Mrs May to deliver on Brexit and we need a period of stability and calm and proportionality. Uh, people have been talking about disasters. Disasters are when the Titanic sinks, not when your vote share actually goes up considerably. But people even within you your own party have used the word disaster some and people, catastrophe. Some people get very overexcitable, and I think calm and deliberation is what we need, and that leads us firmly to the conclusion that Mrs May is the right the right job. We have a selection of voters here. You've heard what Rhys Mogg has said. Do you talk to him? Yes, I would like to make um, about Ms. May uh, uh, talking about uh, her, her whole uh, campaign was about leadership, strong leadership. But in fact, in my view, what should have happened is to, sp is to speak about economy. Because in the last two elections, when Mr. Cameron was in power, that's what won the vote. OK, I want to ask you, is Mrs. May the right lady, to use Jacob Rees-Mogg's phrase, for the job right now? That's what we've got, and unfortunately, that's it's got to remain. OK, who else wants to say something about that? Alex, what about you? Yeah, I, I guess I'd actually like, like to ask a question if I could. Um, I was really encouraged as a youth worker, I work in Luton, and I was really encouraged that young people came out and voted. And despite what everyone had said, I was certain they would and they did. Um, and I'd love to know what you think young people have been saying in the vote, because I think that's fascinating, the early signs that we're seeing. Uh, it was very interesting, and it's a change from previous elections. I think it's very good news. I think you have a better mandate for all MPs the more people turn out to vote and the turnout was up this election we're getting close to 70 percent which used to be routine uh, I think the Labour Party was better at appealing to young people than the Conservative Party was and that we have to look very carefully about how we use things that I personally am hopeless at such as social media to communicate our message um, the leaflets I put out are very successful with a more mature community, but I'm not sure they're the right idea for the younger voters, Alex, and that's what we've got to get through to. Well, what did you think that that turn? Yeah, we, we don't I, have the exact figures yet, but we know yeah, when the election was called, 1.5 million 18 to 24 year olds registered to vote. But what do you think it's saying if the if 
turnout amongst 18 to 24 year olds is as high as people are expecting? Yeah, I, I, I think they're really intelligent voters, actually. I think people have played them saying? down. Are they I, saying I we don't want a saying, hard Brexit? Are they saying we do want a hard Brexit? I think what? they're saying um, that, they, that they care about the future. I think they're, st- they're voting for the NHS, they're voting for, for education, they're voting for really key policies. And I think they want a better future for everybody. Okay. I want to add one thing to yeah. that, yes. because I think the clear message, both from Brexit and from so many young people voting, is that people are deeply fed up with business as normal. They don't want the political elite, of which I'm inevitably a part, I can't completely detach myself from it. They don't want the political elite just carrying on as they've always done. We want something fresher, a renewal, and a greater trust in democracy. But but with respect, that is what Theresa May is doing. She is carrying on as though it's business as usual. Well, we still have to have a government within this context. It's about the message that we've got to deliver. And that is, I think, the, the key that we should pick up from the general election. Okay. It, quick, quick, sorry to interrupt. You know, quick show of hands. We've got a mixture of voters here. Green, Lib Dems, Labour, Conservatives. Who thinks it's right that con- Theresa May continues as Prime Minister now? Hands up. Right now. Right now. So most of you do. Okay, that's interesting. And that includes some Labour voters there as well. That's interesting. Alex, you're a Labour voter. What? Why? Yeah, it just—it feels like in the short term, I, I would agree. I don't think we need another general election immediately. That, that feels that feels crazy. Um, I don't think she has the confidence of the country or the confidence of her party. So I can't see it lasting long. But I think right now, for the for the, sh- the short season, okay. perhaps it's right. All yeah. right. Thank but you. But doesn't this just show the wisdom of the British people? You gather together a group and they calmly want to see things carrying on, having the country governed. In the Duke of Wellington's phrase, the Queen's government must be carried on. And that may not have been on the tip of all your tongues, but it's actually what you voted for. It goes back to my earlier point, you really can trust the people. The British people fundamentally get things right. How long, finally, how long will Theresa May last? Uh, may Theresa May live forever. Amen, amen. Alleluia, alleluia, amen. <laughs> how long will Theresa May last? Well, I've given you quite a long time frame in that one. That was an eternity. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much. Thank Thanks very for coming much. on the programme. Uh, no good cops. And they pretty smarty, didn't they, that? Yes. I expect you can see in my eyes that I was going to give them a damn good thrashing.